An iconic Italian restaurant reopens its doors today after a seven year hiatus, much to the pleasure of the community and to my taste buds. 10 News got an exclusive preview of what's to come at Little Coochie's in today's Tasty Tuesday. We don't have customers, we have friends. Lil Coochie's is back after a long wait and some convincing for Maurizio and Sherry Coochie's daughter. And their friends are ready to be back. That's what we're excited about is how excited they are. Over the past several months, the crew has spent time carefully constructing an open concept to where... When they come in, they see us. You get to see everything being made through a hole in the wall. Recipes passed over from Italy, made from scratch early in the morning. Every morning I come in, that's the first thing I do is get the bread ready for lunchtime. Once the dough and sauce are made to perfection, it's go time. We step back to see the highlights of the menu from salads to meatball subs to Philly cheesesteaks to Sicilian and grandma pizza pies. Fresh cheese and toppings go on before being thrown into the oven where everything is cooked evenly. Each item made with a common goal. The last bite is just as good as the first bite. So I wanted to see if I had what it took to be an honorary coochie. Much like their kindness toward friends, they showed the same level of kindness to me. You're doing a good job. Teaching me the art that's made this family a favorite in parts of Virginia. After stretching the dough, we put a layer of sauce, cheese, and toppings straight into the oven. With the help of Maurizio, my pizza was done. The only thing left was to give it a try. This is usually the part I'm bad at, is making the food, but we're gonna try and redeem ourselves here. Say it with me. Molto bene. Molto bene. Forget about it. We followed up with a delicious cannoli and a reminder of the legacy that continues to thrive in our corner of the Commonwealth. That all started with Maurizio's late brother, Victor. Without him bringing me over from Italy, I wouldn't have had the chance to be able to come and make something uh, of myself. 